Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be talking about the war within and in particular, I want to talk about this new mount right here, the Crowd Pummeler 230 that you will be able to craft with engineering. So this mount is really interesting for a lot of different reasons, but the main reason why I want to talk about this mount specifically is the fact that this is a BOE mount that you will be able to craft and then sell on the auction house. So this is something I'm personally very excited about because the last time we got some BOE mounts, you were able to either farm or craft and then sell on the auction house for some gold was back in Battle for Azeroth. And since then, we haven't had anything that you could actually farm or again craft and then make some gold with. So overall, I think this is really, really nice because I remember, for instance, being able to craft the engineering mount from Battle for Azeroth was really, really cool, the Mecha McNab, and it really allowed a lot of people to make a lot of gold, which I think is a really good way for people to either spend their gold on mounts that they want to get from the auction house or on people to spend their time on crafting these different mounts and then making a profit with them. So this mount in particular, I think will probably be very popular. First of all, because it looks really cool. As you can see, this is this mount right here. And I think this is honestly one of the coolest mounts we've had in a long time. Then also one thing that makes this mount so cool is the fact that this is a ground mount, but also a flying mount and it can also swim. As you can see here, for instance, it says ground speed, flight speed and swim speed. So I think this is something really cool that definitely a lot of people are going to want simply because it means that you can then use it anywhere. And again, this is something that people will be able to buy from the auction house. And normally you won't need to have any engineering level. So they won't have any requirements in order for people to buy it and use it. So let me tell you that, for instance, if you're amongst the first few engineers on the region that can start crafting these different items, then you will be able to craft a bunch of them and sell them all around the different realms in your region and make a lot of gold. So this is something personally I'm very, very excited about because again, as I mentioned, this is something that Blizzard decided to kind of like forget for the past few expansions. But I do think that BOE mounts like that are good for the economy. They're good for the player base. And overall, they're a fun way for people to invest their time into making gold in the game. So of course, keep in mind, this is based on the information that we have from the PTR. And so who knows, maybe in the future iterations of these different patch notes, we will see that this mount will become binds when picked up or binds when created. But at least for now, this is a BOE mount. And as you can see from, for instance, the photos that Mr. GM shared, it is still there and it is still showed as something that you will be able to then sell on the auction house. And it says that it is a sky riding mount. So I'm really hoping that Blizzard will keep it like that and that you will be able to craft the mount and sell it and make some gold with it. But again, who knows, maybe it might change. So please don't be too upset if that's the case because we never know. The last thing that sadly we don't really know is how you will be able to get the pattern in order to get this mount. So this is maybe something that will require you to do a lot of different things. Uh, maybe this is the result of an achievement. Maybe this is something similar to the Mechanic Nab in Battle for Azeroth, where basically you get it as a rare drop from the last boss of a mythic dungeon or something like that. I'm not sure exactly, I just hope maybe the recipe is not going to be something, a world drop that you can then sell on the ocean house because I think it would make a lot of people upset. But I'm really interested to see how exactly you will be able to get your hands on this uh, pattern or at least recipe and then how you will be able to start crafting this mount. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you are someone who is into go making, probably this is something that will make you very excited. And of course, if you are someone who just enjoy nice mounts, I'm pretty sure that this is also something that you will like because again, in my opinion, this is a really, really cool mount. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about that, if you're happy or not, and if you think it will remain a BOE mount. And also if in general, in the future, you hope that Blizzard will add more BOE mounts, also things that you can simply farm, such as, for instance, the different mounts from Battle for Azeroth. 
because personally this is something I enjoy a lot. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos and in the meantime I wish you all a great day, bye!